When the ignition key is turned, it causes a small current of electricity to flow into the solenoid coil. The solenoid is usually made of two coils, known as the pulling coil and the holding coil. The end of the holding coil connects to the casing of the starter motor. So, the current returns to the battery via the frame of the car. The pulling coil is connected to the main output terminal. Both coils are energized to create a strong magnetic field. This pulls the piston back, and as the contactor plate connects across the main terminals, both ends of the pulling coil will become the same voltage. There will be no voltage difference across this coil at that point in time, so the coil will turn off because there's no current flowing through it. It takes far less energy to hold the piston in position, so the hold in coil continues to run. As the piston moves back, it's going to pull on the lever. This pivots and transfers the motion to the drive sleeve, pushing it forwards. As it moves forwards, it slightly rotates the pinion, allowing it to lock the rollers in the clutch and slide the pinion into the flywheel. As the contactor plate connects across the terminals and turns the pull-in coil off, a very large current will now flow through the contactor plate, through the thick wire and into the brushes. From here, it flows to the commutator plates and through the coil, then back to another commutator plate and through another brush, which is grounded to the frame of the car. So the current returns to the battery. The coil produces an electromagnetic field, which interacts with the permanent magnet or field winding in the stator. This interaction causes the rotor or armature to rotate very fast and with a high torque. The rotor transfers this through the shaft through the clutch and into the pinion gear, which turns the flywheel. As the flywheel starts the combustion process, the engine will eventually begin to rotate the flywheel faster than the starter motor. This unlocks the overrunning clutch, so the pinion gear spins freely. When the key is released, it cuts the power to the solenoid coil, which releases the piston. The spring pushes the lever back, removing the pinion gear from the flywheel. The current is cut to the starter motor. The combustion engine continues to run by itself, and the alternator recharges the battery. We have also covered how the car battery works in detail previously. I'll leave a link for you in the video description down below. Check out these videos to continue learning about automotive engineering, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and theengineeringmindset.com.